everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm just going to be doing um, a swipe and schmear on this and tilting, and we'll just see what kind of cells I get. Let's go over my paints. My base coat is going to be uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. My colors I'm using today are Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash. I am using Arteza Phalo Blue. I'm using Arteza Lemon Yellow combined with the Amsterdam Titanium White. I just lightened up that yellow just a little bit. My next color is the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. Very pretty color. My next paint is the Arteza Crimson Red. My next paint is a combination of Golden Burnt Sienna along with the, uh, the DecoArt 24K Gold. Just a combination of those two. All my paints today are mixed seven parts the mix with one part paint. And I did thin a little bit with water, and let's show you that consistency here. Just leaves a little trace. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off. I'm going to put my base coat down, bring you back, and we'll start painting. And also, um, my swipe color today, or my cell activator, is two and a half parts of Australian Floetrol one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black paint, and um, five drops of the Josana Gloss Varnish. Okay, so I'm going to stop the camera, bring you back in just a second. Oh, okay, everybody, I'm back, and I have put down my base coat of the um, artist, I mean, excuse me, the Amsterdam Titanium White, and here I am just starting to lay my colors down. There's that, there's that red, crimson red, and, and now I'm starting the swipe. And I use, am using little um, plastic card dividers for my swipe today. And again, that swipe color is um, the uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with, well, that's one part of the black mixed with two and a half parts of the um, Australian Floetrol and five drops of the Josanya Gloss Varnish. And here I am pl placing more paint down. A couple of things I've learned. First of all, you should have enough paint down for your base coat. So when you're all done laying your paints down, you've done all your swiping or your smearing, that when you go to tip, you want to make sure to have enough of your base coat down that your paints will move. Second of all, as you can see, I'm swiping after each section that I put down on the painting. That way I can be more mindful of how the painting is looking instead of putting all the paint down first and then doing the swiping. I have a little bit more control over the end result of the painting that way and I'm also being mindful of the different colors that I'm putting down. Not putting too much down. I think my last video I did, I may have put down a little bit too much paint. This way, just by putting a few of those colors down, it's allowing those colors to come through, as you can see. You can see a lot of the yellow, the red, the blue. Just here I'm putting some gold down and some purple. Some of that crimson red. Phalo blue. I'm 
when I dip my little card into the um, cell activator uh, color, there's actually cell activator on both sides of that little plastic card. And sometimes I would just turn it over and continue using it before cleaning it off. Here I'm just showing you I decided to put some that crimson red and the cell activator on just the two of those colors together just to see what kind of uh, effect I would get there. This is all a learning experience yet for me. Now just giving it a quick torch and now we're going to do start the tipping process. I'm trying to pull out the paints and this, thus getting that lacing to enlarge a little bit there. Being mindful of the composition and also being mindful of what I want to keep and what I can afford to run off this canvas. So you want to pick the areas that you're not, not real uh, keen on and save the areas that you really like. I continuously run my hand underneath my canvas there, just cleaning off the paint, off the drippings there. Again, just pulling the paint out more here. You can see that almost ghost look on some of those colors. And that is the effect that the mix gives. It, it's like lets the layers come through with transparency. So you can see more than one layer at a time there. Now I'm just kind of taking a look at it, still doing some more tilting here. Still trying to uh, draw it out a little more. Paint is still moving a little bit slower now, but I decide that I can take some of that paint off that corner there. And I'm bringing it back. I do leave a lot of negative space, but I think for the composition for this painting, it, that, that really did uh, have an added bonus for it. Taking another look at it here, cleaning my hands off. Going to try and run a little more paint off here. And you can see that lacing, how I am stretching it out there. And here's where I decide I'm going to run some of that blue paint off of that, that far corner there. And then bring it back. If you have any questions on this type of a pour, please leave them in the comments and I'll be glad to get back to you. Now I'm just taking another look at it. I decide to take my skewer and just draw out some of the the paint there, just have the eye a little more interest on this uh, painting, just for the eye to have something extra to look at, I guess I'd say. Being mindful of the direction that I think that these little lines should run. And here I'm just giving it a little bit more interest there. Never be afraid to play with your painting.
to get it exactly the way you want it. Here's a quick torch and we'll get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up and I am trying to show you the whole painting here. I am so very happy with this painting and I did leave a lot of negative space, but it, it really does add to this painting. Here is the upper left hand corner and I'm just going to take you down the left hand side. I do apologize for that glare. And I do like this area down here. Busy, but you can see all the different layers coming up, the transparency, and that's the effect that you get when you do, you do use the mix. Here is the lower left-hand corner. And I'm going to take you over the whole painting. I got incredible lacing, really nice cells. There's where I just used my skewer a little bit and added a few little doodads here and there just to give the painting a little more interest. You can see where I did stretch it out quite a bit here. Very crisp lines, as you can see in that black flash there. And here with the lacing. And I'll take you over to the bottom right corner here. Pretty in there. And just up the right side here. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Consider subscribing if you haven't to help my channel grow. Thanks so much for spending time with me here today. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.